about the misconception of kids in foster care. And to tell us more about this, we're joined by Stefan Spencer. Good morning. Thanks for Good being morning. here. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, you know, you were here months ago as our, I guess, Google search expert. I was. And I had no idea that you have some knowledge about this, about foster system. Well, intimate knowledge because I was a foster child. For me, I had a, a tough time growing up. I lived with my grandparents because my mother was mentally ill. Okay. And then my grandma died. So then I went to live with my aunt in Connecticut. A year later, we moved to Florida. A year uh -huh. after that, she gets a divorce. So I end up back in Toledo. And I'm alternating between my abusive grandfather and my mentally ill mother. And it's oh. very unstable. And yet, it's this beautiful blessing because my grandfather then calls children's services. And I become a foster child. Now, first, that was very scary and yeah. I felt so alone like nobody in my family loved me but it ended up being this beautiful blessing because I had this wonderful foster mom who taught me how to cook and how to sew buttons on and in that stability I was able to thrive focus on my studies get a 32 on my ACT and how old a were you point. at this time going through this I was a teenager I was oh, okay. yeah. sophomore junior okay. senior in high, high school wow. yeah and and I became excellent at computers and that ultimately led me to my business where I'm optimizing the websites of some of the biggest brands in the world okay none of that would have been possible if it weren't for the stability of the foster care system and so that's why I'm excited to be here today to share the three big lies about foster kids okay yeah. the Go first ahead. big lie that foster kids are underachievers Nothing is further from the truth. 65% of former foster kids had seven or more school changes. Okay. And can you imagine wow. trying to maintain your grades in that kind of uncertainty? Uh, second big lie is that foster kids have behavioral or d developmental or medical special needs that make them difficult to parent. Mm -hmm. Again, not true. Less than a third of f foster kids have any form of diagnosable disability. And the third big lie is that foster kids are badly behaved. Foster kids are the victims, not the perpetrators. More than half of, of Americans believe that foster kids are juvenile delinquents. Nothing could be further from the truth. These kids end up in the foster care system because of abuse, neglect, or abandonment at the hands of their biological family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do a lot of work with um, CASA here locally in, um, in Placer County, and uh, they really advocate for foster care kids trying to be that one sta like stable person in their life. Because a lot of times, foster kids are going from home to home to home. On average, what, how many homes do foster kids go through? I don't know, but I've seen stories of these kids not even having a, a bag to carry. They, they use a trash bag to carry their stuff from oh, place to wow. place. All right, you have, um, I guess, an action plan that how we can all make a difference. Yes, I just want folks to care, see charity, give generously to CASA, Together We Rise, Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, or the Pajama Program, and help save a child. A, attend training, like uh, RFA has great training to help you to learn how to be a foster parent. R, requirements for licensing, which are very simple, just like... Uh, be 18 years or older, be a legal California resident, pass a background check, and then finally E, evaluation by a licensing agency to make sure you're fit to serve as a foster parent and that your home is safe for these kids. Thank you for sharing this and thanks for coming in yeah. because sometimes we, we forget and we need a, a wake-up call. Yeah, so if anybody out there wants to make a difference for these kids, you want to adopt or foster, take that leap of faith. You could make a lifelong difference. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. We should mention, too, another local organization is uh, Mikey's Luggage, and they have uh, people can donate money or luggage, and they give those to the foster kids so they're not carrying their stuff in trash bags. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs>